Hello and welcome to episode two of my competition series for High Rocks Madrid. Um, it's now 19 days until I compete, 19 days until I'll be in Madrid, so I'm so excited to go abroad and compete abroad. Uh, this week's episode is all about the training side of things, so within this episode I'll show you some behind the scene footage of me training alongside some uh, commentaries and rationales around why I've chosen specific exercises for my training sessions. Um, this is all about last week as well, so obviously I'm reflecting um, on it all from last week, so week two of my programme that I've written. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the episode that is to come. If there's anything that you want to specifically hear about or understand or learn um, in episode three, then let me know. But yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy the episode. So for Tuesday's session, I was working on heavy sled pushes, getting used to pushing the sled over numerous laps like I would in the competition. I was doing a lot of sets of this. I did four sets in total, which was a 30 second rest in between. So I'm trying to get used to pushing the sled under fatigue as I will need to do this in the comp. So here I am pushing the sled. Um, I trialed out different techniques. So I trialed out a technique of wrapping my arms round uh, for the front, which you will see just in a second. Um, just using my training sessions as a chance to try and practice these different techniques and see which is gonna be best for the competition. Um, so yeah, first part was heavy sled pushing. I'll sped this bit up, um, <laughs> but yeah, once I'd done that, I then turned it into an AMRAP of 15 minutes long of two laps of sled pushes, two laps of lunges and two laps of farmer carries, just to incorporate some different movements in there from high rocks, but also to get used to having to do long slogs of efforts uh, with difficult exercises. And this is the result. <laughs> After this, I wanted to get some fatigue for the shoulders because that's what I'm going to have to experience for wall balls. So here I'm doing an AMRAP of as many reps as I can in 10 minutes worth with just 30 seconds in between each effort of rest. So that session was Tuesday, um, but I didn't do enough on the ski erg efficiency in the earlier session because I couldn't fit it in. So this is some footage of me talking uh, with, I begin with my massage gun because I was like, my legs were so dead. Um, but yeah, I also did another session in the evening, but just like a short one. Um, but I discussed this in the video. Come in. So I hope you don't mind, but while I talk to you, I'm going to massage gun my leg because it's achy from today's session and it's good use of time. Um, but actually, that's going to affect the sound quality, isn't it? The things I do for you. Um, so I'm a little bit achy from this morning session, but I've got um, another training session tonight. Um, I'm going to do a bit of work on the ski. I have to work on efficiency because it's something that let me down in High Rocks Birmingham. Um, so I've got a, a format in place for that. Um, and I've also got football training tonight. So I'm trying not to overdo it in terms of um, the frequency. So I'm just literally nipping in to do the ski. I've already done like the the majority of the stuff that I wanted to focus on today. Um, so yeah, I do the ski erg for not that long. Um, and then football. So I'm trying to aid my recovery in between and doing some massage going in doing some stretching all the boring stuff but uh it's necessary particularly when you when you've just come back from an injury don't want to get injured again can't be doing with that uh so yeah just a quick update oh there's me in the background <laughs> so fast forward to thursday and this is what i had to say so it's thursday today um i'm doing a strength focus session to begin with there this morning and then later on i'm going to do a more high rock specific session um, the strength session today is going to be back squats, deadlifts and bench press for 5x5, five five, so 5 sets of 5. I'm quite excited to have a go at squats for 5x5, five five, just because I've not done that for a very long time since I uh, tired my ACL in March. Um, so yeah, this morning it's going to be strength based, this afternoon is going to be more high rocks focused, looking at the ski, I'm trying to improve efficiency in that, uh, sled push, uh, including some lunges in there. What else did I program? remember I have to look at my program that I've, I've done for myself um, but yeah I'm quite excited to get some strength stuff going I've had my coffee uh, so yeah raring and ready to go um, in terms of my training so far this week so on Sunday I did a 10k run at Chester Zoo so really enjoyed that um, did that with my sister and a boyfriend and yeah was, it got a PB for that and then Monday I had a rest day because I was absolutely knackered like after this 10k was the longest I've ran in a long time um, since again since my injury um, and then Tuesday, I had football training, did some high rock stuff, um, which I've made a video for, so I'll upload that as part of this video um, and this update. And then yesterday, I just felt quite knackered. Um, I did an easy-ish run uh, on the treadmill for 20 minutes and some cycling for 20 minutes. 
Um, and yeah, so today it's Thursday and I'm going to do the strength stuff this morning and then a bit of an so here's just some snippets of some of the reps from some of these lifts. I also ended up doing push press, um, just because I fancied it, and I had some um, time that I could do so. Um, but yeah, here I'm trying to just get stronger. Um, if I can get stronger, for example, through my legs, through squatting, and through my posterior training, through deadlifting, then things like the sled push is going to feel easier. <coughs> Not doing too much uh, strength stuff, though, because I don't want doms to affect my high rock stuff. Just did... Um, six laps of competition weight with 40 seconds in between each set and I did four sets what's that? and I feel absolutely well, like I need to improve because the last two uh, slowed down quite a bit well, not quite a bit a little bit and I want to be more consistent so I'm going to retest that in the week um, for next week's training yes grim so then it's now Monday, so I've sat down, I've reflected on last week's training and I've got a plan going forward, um, tweaked it ever so slightly, so I already have a programme for myself, but I've just tweaked it here and there um, for things that have fl uh, flagged up as weaknesses for me to work on for this week. So I'm excited to get going with them. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, please let me know how you found it. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, thank you for joining me and I hope you look forward to episode three. Again, let me know if there's anything in particular you want to know about what I'm doing for the event, uh, for the competition or anything alongside it, anything to do with it, just let me know. But thanks again for watching and I hope to see you, well I hope to, yeah I don't know what I'm saying here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>